Good morning. Welcome to another Everyday God. I am Jed, here to read today's devotion from Mark chapter 10, verses 51 to 52. Let us open our Bibles and read together. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus. Your faith has healed you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Blessed be the reading of God's Word. Now, Mark chapter 10 verse 46 onwards talks about a man named Bartimaeus, someone you can call a person at the lowest point of his life. The Bible describes him as a blind man and a beggar who stationed himself at the roadside. At this point, a lot of people had heard of Jesus and learned that he can perform miracles. So what did Bartimaeus do when Jesus was on that road? Let's go back a bit to verses 47 and 48. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. First point, saying son of David is part of Jesus acknowledging Jesus to be the, the Jewish uh, Jewish Messiah. As believers of Christ, we can identify into Bartimaeus acknowledging the Messiah in high regard. Second point, we notice that he was rebuked by people who are overprotective about Christ. Sometimes we believers also have this tendency to rebuke or prevent others into coming to Christ. Hopefully this is unintentional. Jesus is supposed to be shared to the world so that all people can have their opportunity to be saved especially those who needs to hear the word the most. Third point, Bartimaeus, despite being rebuked by the crowd, called to Jesus all the more. You see, this showed his genuine faith in Jesus. No amount of shameful words or feeling of isolation can stop a true believer from reaching out to Christ. Jesus also affirms this in verse 52. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Jesus didn't do anything to heal the man. His faith in Christ did. This man who has spent a long time blind and hopeless at the lowest point of his life hears about Jesus as Messiah and puts his faith in him. By faith alone is healed. And he was, just, ju- he was not just healed but followed Jesus along the road. He became a follower. A life of a true believer results in a transformation. Bartimaeus was healed through faith and is given a new life and a new desire to follow Christ. Are you inspired by the changing power of salvation? Are you asking yourself, have I been transformed? Is my faith genuine? Whatever ideas you have now is a great thing to consider. Ask God to reveal Himself to you and strengthen your faith further. No matter how many problems you face, and especially if you are at your lowest point in life. Be like Martinez in your faith and call out Christ all the more.